Space started in London. It's um, a company limited by guarantee, uh, an organisation that was set up to find a way to reuse empty buildings in a legal and safe way by local communities. We had a look at how other companies, other organisations, other charities had taken advantage of these massive empty spaces and tried to work out how we could empower communities to have the same sort of access. So we came up with a system and that system is uh, the Respace Holistic Urban Regeneration System. And one day we were contacted by a lady from Peterborough who had seen a BBC Sunday morning little piece of video about some of the projects and you know some of the things that go on in them uh, and was quite inspired from, from what she said so she contacted and said that she'd be really keen to see us come up to Peterborough and would be interested in finding out. So we came and uh, had a look around the town and the city and got to know a little bit about you know, what's been happening and what is happening here and so six months later we finally managed to secure a contract from uh, a developer, a landlord in the area and we have some great conversations with the council that allow us to be able to to get the space and to be able to offer it to local communities um, and we started the New England project which is based at the New England Club and Social Institute in uh, the area of New England in Peterborough it's a launch pad for what we hope is going to be the use of a lot more of the empty buildings that the the city has and you know hopefully a way to bring people together creative people and organizations that are already working um, and to try and uh, see if we can produce some shared facilities reduce a bit of inequality and you know inspire some people to to try and experimenting with different things you have a new project when you have a new building like for example this one it was very old, it was very dirty, it required quite a lot of work. Most people who walked into it on the first few days when they saw it imagined it would take half a million pounds or something to get it back up and running, you know. Um, and so we have a system where uh, we will create an event. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything in particular. In, in the Hive we had the Freedom Exhibition. Um, but here it was felt that a little winter fair just before Christmas might be a really nice way of of having a bit of a housewarming, welcoming people to the project, but also giving a really good skeleton or a framework by which you can improve and, and get the building up and running. So with the help of local volunteers and some of the guys coming up from London to, to pitch in, we turned the space around in a couple of weeks. Uh, having got the keys on the 16th of November, we started clearing and tidying the space a couple of weeks after that. And then we were ready to open on the 16th of December, just the, the one room, but looking nice and safe and as warm as we could make it with the electrics and the lights and the plumbing, you know, back to, back to something that is capable of, of keeping people in the building. Um, and we had some stalls and we had some music and um, it was a lovely, lovely, lovely opening, better than we could even have hoped. Um, Lots of kids running around, uh, owning the stage, uh, pushing me off the mic, so I didn't even get to have my say. Kids took over, it's fine. Um, so yeah, a lovely day, can do. So um, since that winter fair, we've had a lot of suggestions of things that could potentially take place in this building. Everything from the local bowls club to theatre and dance performances to cinema nights to. Uh, cafes to art exhibitions to skaters building skate ramps and you know all the ideas are fantastic and we will you know as people step forward to try and actually make these things come true um, we'll see what actually takes place in the building uh, but it's very exciting to know that there's a lot of energy if you imagine that we housed probably a hundred people uh, homeless people through the course of time at the hive You've got 39 rough sleepers in Peterborough on average, you know, it, the numbers change and there's arguments about what those they are. What's clear is that you could probably solve that problem in two, three buildings, you know, uh, intelligently done, well structured, where there is genuine opportunity for people who are not bad people to be able to get back on their feet in the company of other people who also need 
to get back on their feet because one of the key parts of Respace's mission is that we are all the same. Nobody is more needy than anybody else. There's just time. They're more needy at that time. The reality of it all is we're all struggling in a system, in a culture or in a, in a structure that, on a planet that's struggling. So really this is not about some people doing something for other people. This is about people doing things for each other.